This area is crawling with stalkers. It might be safer to duck into the subway tunnels and sneak past them. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 video games you can finish without killing anyone. You don't want to know what's behind your face, just keep running. You filthy American dog! <laughs> <laughs> Well, you'll find it soon enough, mate, because you need to take the ball out. You can't have anyone in the weeds, yeah? Do it quietly. I'm close to your position now. I'll see you soon. For this list, we'll be looking at games where you can choose the path of a pacifist when it comes to enemies instead of... <clears throat> taking care of them. We'll still be including games that let you use physical force to incapacitate your enemies without any fatal fallout. Which game do you think would be most difficult to try a pacifist run in? Let us know in the comments. We are so gonna cornhole this fake-ass church. What's cornhole? Where the corn goes after you eat the corn, Josh. Number 10, The Outer Worlds. The Outer Worlds. And we're gonna try to do it all pacifist -y. You're doing great, buddy. Leaving everyone alive in the Outer Worlds isn't out of the question. The developers of this action role-playing game try to accommodate players who prefer non-lethal playthroughs. They just couldn't get all the elements to work well together. But one fan did, Kyle Hinckley. In true RPG fashion, he chose to play the game his way. I'll patch you up, buddy. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Mm -hmm. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Hinkley managed to get around dispatching enemies even at the hardest difficulty by using lots of charm and sprinting in the opposite direction. When both of those failed him, a dash of creativity usually worked. And if you want to try this run, remember, you can't take out your companions either. Maybe I should have put more points in a sneak. I didn't realize that it was going to be so rough. Maybe I sneak better if I have no clothes on. Number 9. Mark of the Ninja When you meet your friends, your master, will you be ready? You could say sneaking around and avoiding enemies is a mark of the ninja. This side-scrolling stealth game lets you make your way through stages without leaving a trace or leaving any witnesses. Don't get us wrong, it is very tempting to take out enemies using throwing knives or toxic fungal spores. Good old Tyra. Even in death, you never let us down. What really puts you right into the noiseless shoes of a ninja is taking a non-lethal approach. You can use misdirection with tools like smoke bombs or firecrackers with expert timing to make the whole experience feel like parkour, ballet, and puzzle solving all rolled into one. The clan bows its head in shame, as it should. Number 8, Perfect Dark. Are they all expendable? Don't joke. You have to be careful, Joanna. The game's story revolves around Joanna Dark, a spy who is trying to put an end to an extraterrestrial conspiracy. Even though it is technically a first-person shooter, you can get through the game without pulling the trigger even once. My gun! It's so satisfying to sneak around like a secret agent and only engage with enemies when you have to. Instead of using firearms, you can simply disarm enemies. Most of them will surrender after being disarmed. The few who try to be sneaky with a second firearm can be dealt with too. It's lights out for anyone on the receiving end of Joanna's slick hand-to-hand -hand combat. Number 7, Mirror's Edge. You don't want to know what's behind your face, just keep running. When she's not out delivering packages, Faith tries to take down fascist regimes. Dashing through this futuristic dystopian city instead of taking cover and shooting enemies is what this game is all about. You don't carry a gun or any kind of weapon as that would hinder your ability to free run. Instead, you use your body as a weapon with smooth takedowns and disarms. However, you do have the ability to fire the guns you take from enemies. But in order to get the test of faith accomplishment, you have to drop those weapons and dropkick your enemies instead. Number 6. Watch Dogs 2. We are so gonna cornhole this fake ass church. What's cornhole? Where the corn goes after you eat the corn, Josh. 
The Watch Dogs series has always given us open-world freedom that warrants widespread destruction. However, you can keep your hands clean in the second installment. The game allows you to focus on hacking and sneaking rather than shooting and more shooting. Hey Marcus, I got something to show you. Am I gonna like it? I'm gonna say 30 to 1 odds against. Then I guess I better get it out the way. You play as Marcus Holloway, a hacker who can do more with a phone than with a weapon. With just your smartphone, you can distract and confuse your enemies by jamming their comms or causing blackouts. The only part that may make you drift away from your pacifist run is following traffic rules. Oh, ow. I'll call 911. Number 5. Deus Ex Mankind Divided Do it quietly. I'm close to your position now. I'll see you soon. While you needed to eliminate a few bosses in order to progress in the previous game, the developers let you play Deus Ex Mankind Divided in its entirety without taking a life. You are free to use trank darts, your stun gun, or even your words to keep things from getting ugly. Many fans of this kind of playstyle argue that it allows you to outwit enemies and tackle your problems instead of filling them with lead or blowing them up. Not using your arsenal of advanced lethal weapons might seem wasteful, but nothing's better than having a clean conscience and built-in shades. I'm sorry, who did you say you were with? I didn't. Number 4. Thief The Dark Project Inside at last. There's a reason why this series is called Thief and not Murder Junkie. Most fans say that a skilled player can silently take out enemies with ease, but a master would get around enemies without interacting with them at all. Thief was one of the first games to encourage players to stick to the shadows and stay as silent as possible rather than engaging in noisy sword fights. Garrett, the protagonist, can knock people out with his club or blackjack. But pacifist purists tend to use special tools like water arrows to smother torches and flash bombs to distract and confuse enemies instead. What's that? Who goes? All quiet now. Must have been rats. Number 3. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Leave it to me. Using stealth and infiltration has always been the core of the Metal Gear Solid series, and the third installment is no different. You play as Naked Snake, an operative of an espionage organization called Fox. While in enemy territory, the best way to survive and keep things PG is to use your array of gadgets and skills. What is it? The food of the future. A well-balanced meal for the space age. The most popular way to deal with obstacles is to use your trusty trank gun for long-range targets and CQC, or close quarter combat, if you get up close and personal. The Peace Walker achievement is highly coveted among pacifist run fans, and it can only be achieved if you don't take out anyone in the game, even the bosses. Number 2. Dishonored Series You have my thanks, though by all rights I should probably arrest you. Huh. Even in a game that gives you supernatural abilities, keeping your blade away from anyone's vital organs and taking a non-lethal approach is greatly appreciated in both games. Although series protagonist Corvo and Emily are assassins, their targets don't necessarily have to lose their lives. Sparing targets fits with the theme of redemption and leaves them to the arguably crueler fates that await them. The game also has a chaos system, which makes the game tougher if you decide to put down your enemies. So, if you want to take a more brutal route, there are going to be some consequences. Too bad it had to come to this, Jindosh. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Undertale A tagline for this indie masterpiece describes it as the friendly RPG where nobody has to die. If that doesn't scream pacifist run, we don't know what does. You play as a child who gets trapped in the underground and cannot leave due to a magical barrier. The gameplay is a mishmash of turn-based RPG combat with a unique bullet hell mechanic.
you can choose to never harm any of the quirky inhabitants in Undertale's universe. The game lets you flee or befriend your enemies no matter how scary or goofy they might seem. Leveling up might be difficult if you choose this path, but the pacifist ending is so worth it. We love you, Goat Mom. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.